Well, when it comes to helpful hints around the home, Marjorie Bly is the go-to guy. The 95-year-old also has a few tips on handling husbands, Lisa. I'm sitting forward. As Mike Dalton discovered. Marjorie Bly wasn't feeling the best when we visited her. But I'm OK. All right. I'm waiting for you boys to tantalise me. <laughs> but as we would discover, it's Marjorie who does the tantalising. Marjorie Bly is Tasmania's goddess of domestic advice, fermented and distilled from a life well lived through three husbands, a half century of newspaper columns, and a ferocious appetite to make useful everything. That's a beautiful toilet holder. Yeah. Well, what did it start life as? Look. Oh, soft drink bottle. That is made out of a pink plastic bag that come around my television set. What? The mat that we're standing on? Yeah. How do you stiffen that? Recipes in, the, in me book as okay, well. OK, no worries. You're not giving too much away here, Marge. You, no. You'd be a great poker you'll player. To, you'll have to buy the book. The book is Marjorie Bly's hints on managing everything, advice and recipes garnered from her decades of self-publishing that can turn business ties to bolsters and advises that a pinch of Epsom salts stops goldfish from getting constipated. It's only just a pinch, though. OK. Otherwise, <laughs> that, that shoot everything out of their body. <laughs> Dame Edna Everidge and her manager, Barry Humphreys, are big fans of Marjorie's work, the recipes especially so. One subject documented in Marjorie's tome is the subject of husbands and living with them. Cliff was as rough as bags. Adrian was a, an angel, and I, I wouldn't know what, how to describe Eric. He could be an angel one day and a devil the next. Cliff was 27 years, two sons, and a house built from the block up, relinquished in post-marriage battle. I had enough of tongue pie, all right. <laughs> if you don't have love at home when you're being brought up, you don't show it after you get married either. Adrian was the love of her life, lost too young. Get into bed and, and there'd be a note under the pillow saying how much he loved you and all that, and, or in, in the pocket of your apron. And Eric was the bus driver who took her around the world. There was no bus stop there, but if I stood out the front there... There was for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do you manage a bloke? Well... There's one thing you've got to do is th they love plenty of sex. <laughs> right, eh? Yeah, I've heard that. A and they need plenty of tucker. They love old clothes to wear, men do. To close from the Book of Marjorie on the Preserve of Husbands. Some girls insist on in keeping them in a pickle while others keep them in hot water. This only makes them sour, hard, and sometimes bitter. Well done. I tell you what, if you're married to Marjorie, all you'd need to know is that she can tell when a goldfish is constipated and you wouldn't muck around with her.